It's a Monday morning and uh, time again for Medical Monday here on E-Radio. And I'm joined, as always, by ophthalmologist Dr. Dylan Joseph. Today we are talking about astigmatism. First of all, uh, Dr. Dylan, a very big hello to you. I hope you're well. Yes, very well. Thank you, Sophie. Very well, thank you. And uh, Excellent. Keen to learn, as always, because uh, that's what mm. we do on Medical Monday. We, we teach people, well, yeah. you teach people, and you teach me as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's great. <laughs> so to- I'm glad you're learning something too. Yeah? Absolutely. Uh, so today you're teaching us about astigmatism. What on yes. earth is that? Yeah. Well, astigmatism is what we call a refractive error. So um, refractive errors are, are induced when light doesn't travel through the eye correctly. So we know we've talked about myopia, short-sightedness, hyperopia, far-sightedness. Now, astigmatism is a little more complex than that uh, because it has to do with basically looking at the eye as a rugby ball shape. So it's not a perfect sphere. Um, and when you've got something that is uh, transmitting light through it that is shaped a bit like a rugby ball, we've got a long meridian or an axis of the astigmatism and 90 degrees to it, we've got the power of that um, astigmatism. And basically, if we do not correct astigmatism in the eye's system, it results in significantly blurred vision. So you get uh, what people describe as uh, a, a comet behind a light or dragging of imaging or doubling of imaging, ghosting of imaging is a, co- a common descriptor of astigmatism. And very uh, many people have astigmatism built into their optical system, and you can have it either um, as a standalone or you can have it in conjunction with short-sightedness or with far-sightedness. Um, and depending on the magnitude, we've got different you know, words we use to describe that astigmatism, which we don't need to go into today. But just to, to understand astigmatism, essentially it's, it's, a, it's a rugby ball shape to the eye. And, and often we talk about spherocylindrical correction, meaning sphere, so soccer ball, and rugby ball shape superimposed on each other. And that's really what the eye is in terms of optics. It's both a, a soccer ball shape and a rugby ball shape uh, combined. But we've got to correct the astigmatism as well in order to see clearly. Okay, and uh, Dr. Joseph, where does it come from? So astigmatism generally comes from two major sources in the eye. The first is the cornea, that's the outside clear layer of the eye. And interestingly, the cornea has astigmatism on the front surface and on the back surface, which are both visually significant when we're doing surgery. So it's very important to take that magnitude and axis of both of that, um, that those astigmatic values into account. And secondly, the uh, other structure is the lens, the human lens inside the eye. So sometimes the human lens can have magnitude and axis astigmatism, the same as the cornea, which makes your overall astigmatism higher. And sometimes it can have it 90 degrees to the cornea, which actually reduces or negates some of that astigmatism and makes it less. When, when light travels through the eye and hits the back of the eye, if the eye is angled quite oblique, um, then we can perceive uh, visual astigmatism as well. But unfortunately, that's not correctable with current um, glasses, spectacles, laser or lens technology. Um, but that is very, very, um, very rare to see. But essentially, astigmatism is going to come from those two major sources in the eye, uh, the lens and the cornea. Okay. And uh, what does it cause? Yeah. Um, as mentioned earlier, the astigmatism significantly causes blurred vision. Um, you can tolerate very small amounts of astigmatism in your vision up to about may, maybe minus a half or minus 0.75, what we call diopters. So it's a small value of astigmatism that our brains are able to compensate for. But beyond that, we start perceiving image blur. And blur meaning ghosting, doubling of imaging, uh, just unclear, non-crisp letters. Um, and, and that's the most common symptom of astigmatism. And one of the big things that people notice is that their night vision is particularly poor. Astigmatism, that's a major thing, is um, uh, bar none really that uh, you know, people all have a complaint that they've got very, very poor night vision. Um, and that can be, you know, obviously needs to be corrected to, to, see, to see better. 
Well, apparently South Africans have amazing night vision because we're so used to, uh, <laughs> to load shedding. <laughs> Somebody, well, there uh, must be a stigmatism <laughs> built into the ESCOM uh, grid somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody mentioned to me that genetically South Africans will be so resilient yep. in uh, in like yes. 100 years from now. We'll be able to have super night vision because of, um, of, <laughs> of stumbling yeah. around in the dark in, in any case. Uh, yeah. I uh, wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, Doctor Joseph, astigmatism. How can we treat it? Uh, non-invasive ways of correcting it are con- uh, spectacles. Um, depending on the magnitude as well, we can get what's called the prismatic jump on the edge of the spectacles, meaning that you you get size disparity and depth disparity on the edge of the spectacle. So people often note that they lose their footing going up or down stairs. Contact lenses. The, some of the new soft contact lenses called toric contact lenses. So when you talk about tericity, tericity corrects for astigmatism. Um, Some of the new contact lenses are really good and and fit the shape of the eye better than the old ones. However, um, uh, they generally tend to be a a problem with people who have got astigmatism. Uh, If you remember the talk about astigmatism with the eye being shaped like a rugby ball and a contact lens is essentially shaped like a soccer ball. So you're trying to fit a soccer ball surface onto a rugby ball surface. It just doesn't fit. People find it uncomfortable and irritating. And also, if that lens is moving around and shifting and you change the axis by 5 or 10 degrees, then suddenly in between blinks you're going to become very blurred. so, so that is the one negative with, with uh, astigmatic contact lenses, although they have advanced significantly today. Um, and then you're, you're, uh, you can fix astigmatism on the cornea with laser. So even if, you've got, if you're young and you've got astigmatism in the lens and the cornea together, you can fix all of that on the cornea. Uh, it's a myth that people used to believe that you can't fix astigmatism on the cornea as long as it's um, uh, normal astigmatism. Um, and uh, you can fix it when you remove the uh, human lens as well. And um, removing the human lens can either, either come in the form of the customized lens replacement surgery or cataract surgery. So that's why it's really important to understand the magnitude of astigmatism on the front of the eye when removing the human lens, because when we remove that, all that's left on the front of the eye will manifest, being the cornea. So we've got to make sure that we can correct that as accurately as possible. Um, to make your total astigmatism in your visual system as close to zero as possible. Um, If you're not having the lens replaced or you're not working on the cornea or you're not a good candidate for LASIK, we can correct astigmatism as well as in in implantable contact lenses. And the beauty about those is um, we can correct astigmatism up to minus 12, um, along with short-sightedness and myopia, short-sightedness and and far-sightedness up to you know, from minus 20 to plus 12. So there's a massive range of astigmatic correction available in these implantable contact lenses. Um, So many non-surgical as well as surgical uh, options available for correcting astigmatism. Okay, and then our final question for today, uh, Dr. Joseph. Can it be fixed when removing your human lens? Yeah. Um, so yeah, exactly uh, the, the point there is when you're doing either cataract surgery or customized lens replacement surgery, that is removing the human lens. And uh, yes, we can then replace that. And as long as we understand how much astigmatism needs correction, we can implant a lens called a toric lens. Remember, I'm, I used the word toric in contact lenses earlier. So, so now the astigmatism magnitude and axis is built into this, which offsets the astigmatism on the front of the eye. And interestingly now, in our office, we've just acquired a new heads up display tool um, um, from a company that supplies a really neat way of of showing us the implantation axis of this lens without having to go and mark the patient with with ink. So it's almost a bit like uh, flying an F-18, you know, and, and looking at your heads up display. Uh, it's getting really, really advanced, and uh, it's another great addition that we've we've put into our office just to try and make that journey for our patients a bit easier, and to get our results as tight as possible um, and as accurate as possible. So, um, absolutely, we can correct that. Okay, well, that's great, Doctor Joseph. Thank you so much. Uh, tell us where can we come and see your display? <laughs> well, we're <laughs> based in in Neisner at the uh, Advanced Health uh, Clinic. Um, we've got our own rooms next to the clinic, and um, 
yeah, you can get in touch with us. Uh, Mariska is happy to take your calls. She's on 0441500085. We've got a website, www.drdillonjoseph.com. A YouTube channel, Instagram, and uh, Facebook, where we do post a lot of informative uh, talks and we post all our podcasts to the YouTube channel. So if you've got any topics that you may be interested, we've got a really wide array of subject matter that you um, uh, that you can go and listen to and download. Absolutely. And then also uh, for our listeners, you can go to the shows page on our website and then uh, uh, you will see a menu popping up and just click on Medical Monday and then you can see all the Medical Mondays that we've done in the past. Brilliant. It's all there Brilliant. for you. Brilliant. With uh, the topic and everything, so you can listen to That's it great. again uh, whenever you like and wherever you like. That's the beauty of I think it. Is about it? thirty episodes uh, now? Are they not the yeah, I'm it's sure. Yet we're gonna have to pop yeah. a cork or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful. Well done, Doctor uh, Jason. That's go. fantastic. And it's all about education Brilliant. as well and uh, raising Absolutely. awareness. Absolutely. I like it a lot. Yeah, you've got to know what you're in for. That's the that's the exactly. most important thing. Knowledge yeah, is so. power. And uh, it, it, it also it, it's also comfort, you know, knowing what what's wrong with yes. you and and how it can be treated. Yes. It's so important. Absolutely, <laughs> Doctor Joseph. Thank you so much as always. Uh, okay, until yeah. until next time. Perfect. Right. You have a good week. <laughs>